Daisy McAndrew. Daisy, I think some people thought that he was just going to settle this case, get it out of the spotlight, get it off the front pages. Were you and others surprised by the strategy he's taking? I think it's a very brave strategy. Some would say foolish, but I don't think it necessarily means that there won't be a settlement. I think that could be part of the big plan. I think, as Keir so rightly said, this message, this document does say, I'll see you in court, but I think there's a bit of a dot, 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 if you're up for it. And I think we can see from what he's saying in this document that his tactic, he first of all, he hasn't given up on the idea of it being dismissed. He's still continuing with uh, his argument that because she doesn't live full time in Colorado, as she says she does, that therefore perhaps there's a case for dismissal. I think he's also trying to get the price of the settlement down by saying, almost playing a game of chicken, a game of brinkmanship. I'll see you in court and I have things to say about you as well as you having things to say about me. Again, as Keir mentioned there, saying that she is somehow trying to profit from her own unethical behavior. That's a clear signal of the line of attack that his team is going to go on. And in a way, he's going to say, I am up for that court case. Are you? If you're not, shall we talk about the settlement? It's reputed to be at about $10 million. Maybe he's trying to get that price down. And we know that if he does settle, he is determined that he won't admit guilt. And we know that Miss Jeffrey is determined that he will if she were to settle, although she's saying she wants to go to court. Yeah, and mm -hmm. her lawyers are pushing to have a deposition mm -hmm. of Prince Andrew sooner rather than later, so that pushes the whole settlement discussion, uh, perhaps to make it more urgent in the next few weeks. But Daisy, you know, we look at what the Queen did mm -hmm. in light of this, when the, the case wasn't dismissed and was allowed to go forward by the judge, the Queen stripped him of his royal titles and his military titles. Do you think that had any effect on the, the legal strategy we're now seeing? I think in some ways it must have had an effect. His team will tell you, and they have certainly told me, he now feels free to fight. Um, as a private citizen. So in other words, almost taking the gloves off. But of course, he's got to be very careful with that tactic. A lot of people already saying, as well as her own team, that's victim shaming. And that is not going to go down well with the public. His standing here in the UK is about as low as you can imagine it going. But of course, it could go lower as a result of this court case. If he were to testify, we know he would be asked the most cringeworthy, embarrassing questions that nobody would want to answer, let alone some somebody who considers himself a member of the royal family. He'll be putting his own direct family on the stand, quite possibly, his ex-wife Fergie and his two daughters. Interestingly, I've been thinking about them a, a bit, guys, and the way that they have stood by him has been quite extraordinary. We know, obviously, I'm sure you know, Fergie and Andrew still live together in the same house. They are incredibly close. I wonder, given that he's pretty much lost everyone else, whether he might, at the end of all this, end up remarrying Fergie. Well, so that's a hunch Daisy, I've got. You just in dropped the meantime, a bomb on us. Rest, I didn't know the they still live together. Family, <laughs> we didn't know that. Oh, they do. They, they are incredibly close, and she has stood by him. She is at all the legal meetings. She is with him, by his side, pretty much all the time. It's an extraordinary relationship. And it was Prince Philip who really turned against Fergie. Now that he's out of the picture, I wonder whether that might be another way of her coming back. Certainly into Andrew's life in an official way, but of course not into the royal family in any official capacity. Wow, wow. Daisy. You had a lot there. Daisy, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. We appreciate your time this morning. Yeah. We got a little more than we bargained wow. for.